All right, so in usage eight, let's talk about opening a new tab and tab nabbing. So what's tab nabbing is? It's specifically a kind of security attack, cyber attack. Uh, we also call it as type of phishing attack. So through which what an attacker does, an attacker get hold of your source tab and try to inject something in that so that you are kind of redirect your application to another lookalike application with a minute change like um, login form and things like that to kind of tweak, tweak you to provide your credential and then steal it and this all happens you know when you click on a link you your new tab opens but in the meantime what it does is basically it catch hold of your older tab this, uh, you know and do some modification over here that you may not notice because the one that is redirect to is look like your actual application but with a very minimalistic changes like a login form or things like that with which they can collect your information right want to see a demonstration of that okay let's 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 show you that so this is a pretty old um, browser like i8 i hope you're not using it today and this is a awesome website you know where they have demonstrated this phenomena very well so see this page there is nothing actually on the top of about ariel no opener we will we'll, we'll discuss what exactly it is and there is a link now i'm clicking on this link and this link is going to open a page in a new tab but there is something going to happen when i click on this this will be opening a page right away okay the page has opened and there is a text called why don't you go back to the previous tab and the moment i go back to the previous tab you see here this was not there it's saying you have been hacked so here it is just for the demonstration purpose so you are seeing this text over here but actual attacker can inject anything in your page and the page look like an older page or only but little bit of changes you might get really tricked by the attacker right so this is a serious concern and to actually you know come out of this concern we have a new at attribute to now learn it's called rel so rel attribute with the value no opener make sure that you are not falling into this kind of trap at all so whenever you are using target equals to underscore blank to open the new tab make sure that you're also using rel equals no opener now one good news one good news is that the modern browsers are already taking care of that that whenever there is a new tab opening the new you know no one is going to get handle of the window dot opener object of your older tab so it, once you get on, you know, hand, hand on the window dot opener object, you can actually uh, call a location and or redirect to give the new URL you to go to any other you know website. So recent recent browsers are already kind of doing this. So the same site, if I open over here, okay, it's here, and I click over there, it's open up the new tab. But if I go back to the older tab, I won't see you know those kind of you know red alert at the top because it is kind of taken here right so definitely definitely you have to use this one with target equals to underscore blank you also have to add rel equals to no opener you know just like this one like this and uh, if you are actually using an you know, old older browser like the one that i showed like you know i8 or things like that you can also add the no referrer uh, value as well so it's like this the one that over here here just below the no opener yeah is a no referral as well as another workaround so that you know it is also safe so please be mindful wherever you're using target equals to underscore blank please use real, real attribute values no opener and no referral to safeguard yourself for from the situation like tab naming all right so let's move on to our usage number nine